Welcome to this video. This is an introduction on how to loft in SOLIDWORKS. A loft is very useful for changing geometries over a certain length, much like if you wanted to model an airplane wing. I use loft to model a compressor with uh, modeling the blade. So uh, we'll go into how to model this compressor pretty soon. I'll just go into the basics of what lofting is. I'm going to start a I'm going to start a new part. To loft, you can have two sketches or three sketches. I'm going to go with the three sketch loft. Um, you have a start point and end point and a sketch to guide the curve in between. I'll get normal to my top plane. I'm going to draw a circle. Let's, why don't we have a flange where you're circular on one side, you bend 90 degrees, and you're square on the other side. That should be a pretty fun little loft to do. So I'm going to start a circle. I'll give it a radius, no, a well, radius of two and a half inches, and then I'll set the center. I'll have this edge six inches away from the origin. So I'll say six plus 2.5. Uh, it's important to have the right distances so that your guide curve will be able to have the right relations on it. I'll get, get to that in just a second. Now, I'll highlight this, highlight this, and select vertical. A fully defined sketch, so I'll exit. Now I'll get normal to my front plane, and I'll make a square on this side. I'll set these two equal to each other to make it square. I'll select the midpoint, and I'll make this vertical. Finally, I'll set this length to be two and a half inches. I'm, I'm sorry, five inches. My radius was two and a half inches. And so they're the same size. They don't have to be, but I think it would look nice. And then I'll set this edge to be six inches away. Notice I have the edge of the circle and the edge of the square the same distance away from the origin. That is because I'm getting ready to do my third curve. So with the connecting curve, I'll get normal to my right plane. In fact, I not quite normal. I'll look at it from an angle. And I want it to go a smooth 90 degrees, like uh, something would be flowing into it. So I'm going to make a three-point arc. And what I'm going to do is I need to pierce this uh, sketch. Uh, otherwise, the loft function will not work. So I'm going to take that endpoint and select the line that I want it to be piercing into, and select Pierce, much like the coincident function. Now I'm going to select this point and select the entire sketch here, Pierce. Then I'm going to make a center line. That's horizontal, and I'm going to make it tangent. And actually, I'm fully defined. So this is tangent to this sketch also. And uh, I know that because I made them the same distance apart. Should this one have been eight inches over here, this three-point arc wouldn't have been able to intersect it at 90 degrees. So we're fully defined apart from this little edge. I'll just give this one inch so that everything is fully constrained and exit the sketch. And we are ready to loft. So I'm going to say features, lofted boss base. You can also do a swept boss base, which is a lofted cut but we're going to add material instead of take material away. And I'm going to select my profiles. One profile and another profile. I'm going to select my guide curve. I'm going to get rid of this. Show preview. And there's what our loft is going to look like. Now, I may want to make this flow like a pipe. This is going to be one solid object. So I'm going to select the thin feature. And I'm going to say I want it to be eighth inch thick. Now it's going to uh, make this entire geometry one eighth inch of a one eighth of an inch thick. So when I bring it into actuality, there you go. And I can sketch 
a, a flange on this face and give it some bolt holes and a flange on this face and give it some bolt holes to, to complete my loft. But, and just so that you can see what the flange might look like, I'll hurry up and make one. And there you have something that might look like it's got some flanges on it. This is the basics of lofting. Uh, my next video, I will go ahead and show you how to make this uh, nifty little compressor. And we can work on using a loft to make these blades. I uh, hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe if it was, because that's the best way to help me back. And I'll catch you next time.